you went through this affliction for a reason you have been divinely scarred to dancing in his light ministry i am shani thank you so much for joining it is so good to have you and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe and click that notification bell also most importantly share this message around because god's spirit is moving and you do not want to miss out We're going to look at the life of Paul for a bit, right? To understand what he went through to bear this name of Jesus Christ. I will bless the Lord in the midnight hour, in the midnight hour, in the midnight hour. I will bless the Lord. Will you bless the Lord? <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. In the midnight hour, we shall bless the Lord. Although it may be a very dark, dark, dark time. Arise and serve God. For even in the midnight hour, the darkest hour, God needs to be praised. God shall be praised. God deserve our praise. Don't shy away from this calling on your life, beloved. God is calling you. I want you to rejoice. The word of God says rejoice when you face persecution, when you're being afflicted for righteousness sake. Rejoice. Come on, dance with me. In the midnight hour, in the midnight hour, in the midnight hour, I will bless the Lord. Like Paul and Silas blessed him, I will bless the Lord. Will you bless the Lord? Hallelujah. You know that song? I love that song. I love that song. And if you know the scriptural reference, you will be blessing the Lord. Chains will not hold you down. If you recall that story, you know. It was when Paul and Silas decided to worship God in spite of Paul and Silas was bound in chains. Why? Because they were preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and they took them. There was an order that was given for them to be brought into the innermost prison, the most heightened area of security as if they were criminals. My God. But Paul and Silas decided whether chains, for a matter of fact, they were beaten, their skins were ripped off because they were serving God. They were marked, they received divine scars because they bear the name of Jesus Christ. And although they were scarred, they decided whether death, whether dishonor, we shall serve the Lord, we shall praise God. So in the midnight hour, in the innermost prison, in the chains, they decided to worship and pray to their God. In the midnight hour, they decided to bless God. They decided to worship God. I dare you, beloved, though you are in your midnight hour, will you worship God? Allow his presence to enter. Show him that I still believe that you are God. You shall still get my praise because you deserve it, God. The chains will not stop me. This trouble will not hold me back. The blood of Jesus is against these afflictions. I bear the name of Jesus Christ and wherever he sends me I will go and my God shall deliver me in accordance to Psalms 91. He promised to give me honor. He promised to give me long life. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah, Jesus Kura Masande Bekura Samyele Kira Samamaso. And I want you to observe this child of God that it was while they were praying and worshiping God that the angel of the living God entered and all chains break off, the prison doors burst open. I want you to know nothing can hold a true believer down because the presence of the living God promises to deliver just say the Lord God Almighty because he has known my name I shall deliver him God came in and he burst those prison doors open whether it was tightly locked or loosely locked but the word of God says that it was the innermost prison hallelujah I remember when I had a dream in the dream hallelujah I was being taken in to a dark 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 place into the most innermost place I wonder if you hear what I am saying in that innermost place I could see two of them and they say well she will not be able to do anything what you say she has to follow and at the time I found myself being led I was being led in the innermost prison mighty God of Daniel Jesus and when they brought me in there I woke up I woke up and then when I woke up I felt a release hallelujah hallelujah I felt a divine release because it was as if darkness was trying to take me away but the blood of Jesus I overcome through the blood of Jesus I want you to know that you have been called to be more than conquerors this trouble shall not take you down so in the name of Jesus I do not care about what is trying to hold you down its power is not greater than God's power hallelujah divinely scar you have been marked you have been marked for kingdom's purposes. Hallelujah. I clear the way right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you, child of God. Oh, dare you allow this world to hold you captive. Oh, dare you allow this affliction to hold you down. I command for you, Chasanamakonesa. I command for you to arise. I command for you to take your position the word of God says that the harvest is ripe it is ready where I call you you must go so though they led Paul and Silas into the innermost prison as in my dream, Masako Shanamatonde, I could not stay there. Paul and Silas could not stay there. Hallelujah. Because we bear the name of Jesus Christ. You have been positioned and called. Hallelujah. Jesus, our God delivers. When you worship God, you acknowledge his presence and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be free. I command for you to be free. Hallelujah. Will you worship God? Yes, you are facing all those prosecution. Yes, you are facing all those afflictions, but God is asking you, will you worship me? Will you worship me? Hallelujah. Will you let your praises be heard? Whether you are in good times or in bad times, Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Jana maso ndebe kiera sama maso. Jesus. Hallelujah. God, you are worthy, God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. I prophesy to these people. God knows you by name. I prophesy over your life to be loosed right now. I break your chains in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not die. I shall not die, but live and declare the glory of God. I shall not die, but live and declare the glory of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that persons who follow the ways of Jesus Christ are now marked by God. So if anyone persecutes or troubles a Christian, they are literally now persecuting or troubling Jesus Christ. And that is a dangerous place to be in. In Galatians 6 verse 17, when Paul was writing his letter, he said, Now look here. I do not want no one to cause me trouble because I bear on my body the marks, the scars of Jesus Christ. Paul was willing to die for this gospel because look here. The word of God says for those who try to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for the gospel, they shall be saved. Look at Stephen. Stephen was one, a Christian, a follower of Jesus Christ. And Stephen was toned to death. Because people did not believe, they didn't like to hear what Stephen was talking about. Oh dear, you come and tell me that I am wrong. But will you allow yourself to be molded to the ways of God? Will you allow Jesus to mold you? In spite of the afflictions that Paul faced because of sharing this gospel, Paul said, I press toward the mark, which is the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Paul did not give up and he wanted persons to know this. In spite of your ways to say that, well, you can't be saved because you do not look like one who is saved. Or whether you look like one who is saved, you are not ready as yet. Because look at what you used to do in the past. No. The verse before that says, One thing that I do, I forget the things that are behind. That is what Paul said. Beloved, what it is that you are facing right now because you bear the mark of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that your reward is in heaven. You will get a crown, the crown of life, as mentioned in Revelations. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Believe, believe that this same God who called you will give you the power, the strength to carry out your work upon this earth. You are a carrier of the gospel. You have caused the afflictions that you have gone through to let you not want to be bold for Christ. You have now taken a back seat. But God is saying, no, you need to arise. I gave you this mark. I mark you for a reason. You have my scar for a reason. You went through this affliction for a reason. You have been divinely scarred. And because once we are in this world, we will experience trouble. That's why when the Spirit of God said to me, divine scarring, he didn't say divine scarred. 
because it is a mark. We are constantly marked by God. When we go through afflictions, the word of God says, count it not lost, beloved. Because when you are persecuted for my name, it shows that you now bear the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You now bear the name of Jesus Christ. So if you are being persecuted because you are a Christian, not because you're doing something that is wrong, but because you bear the name of Jesus Christ, take cheer in this. That's why the Bible says rejoice rejoice count it joy count it all joy brethren and sisters when you face afflictions for the name of jesus christ because this means that your name is now written in the lamb's book of life your name is now seated in high places you belong to god if when jesus was walking the earth he faced so many afflictions what do you think is going to happen? You're preaching, you're teaching, you're sharing the ways of Jesus Christ. The world will not like you. The world is a dark place. And now God has called you to be a light. To be his light. To show persons the way. Hallelujah. Don't give up. No matter what they're saying, don't give up. No matter what they're doing, don't give up. Don't give up. Hallelujah. I want you to press. 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 Keep on pressing. Keep on pressing. Keep on pressing. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, I thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you for your word. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your power. You still have power. You are the high priest. Your rulings, almighty God, surpasses all other rulers. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I present your daughters and your sons, those who you have called Almighty God, but the world Almighty God has held them captive. Holy Father, I present them to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. You have called them Almighty God and have appointed them for such a time as this. Thank you, God. Thank you for these, your people, Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God, for those who will come into the comment section, Almighty God. Thank you for those, Almighty God, who are even too shy to open their mouths to speak, but in the name of Jesus. I pray, Almighty God, that whatsoever muzzle whatsoever chain that the enemy has all them captive with by the power of your blood jesus christ father god i ask that you loose your people now in the name of jesus help them to speak help them to say thus say the lord help them to go where you have sent them and to do the work of the one who has sent them jesus hallelujah god if you do not reach out and touch your people they shall not be touched if you do not keep your people they shall not be kept we shall not be kept Remember your promise, Almighty God, in Psalms 91, Lord. You say, because we know your name, O God, you will deliver us. So we call upon the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. We believe your word, Almighty God. Set your people free in the name of Jesus Christ.
amen and amen thank you so much for watching i'm being withheld for those who hear the calling of god on their lives but you're afraid of what you will believe in behind remember paul says that Paul said in his word, I forget what is behind. Will you forget what is behind? For those who try to save their life will lose it. This world is very deceitful. It will paint a picture to say this is life. It is not. Broad is the way that leads to destruction, Jesus says. But narrow is the way. It is a sure way. You cannot be lost. You cannot drift to the left or the right because it is Jesus that will come alongside you. It is Jesus who will show you the way, who will walk with you. And because it is narrow, the ways of the Lord, they are sure. God is calling you to a higher place. Will you answer the calling of God on your life today? If your name is Jado Kode Sanye Tede Basa Nyebe Koda Samamaso, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is calling you. God has been calling you. And you keep putting it off, but no more. Now is the time. Now is the time. It is time. It is time. It is time. Say this prayer after me. Father God, I hear you calling me. And I say yes. I say yes to your ways, almighty God. And I renounce all the ways of this life all the ways that this world has been given to me i release them now i throw them away i let them go and i ask almighty god that you will give me your new order that you will give me your life and life more abundantly that you will give me your holy spirit Jesus Christ, I now accept you as my Lord and Savior now. Keep me under the shadows of your wings to serve you in all truth. In Jesus' name, amen. I come against anything that may want to rob from the kingdom of God, that may want to pull away from you the word of God. Let this word rest upon you. Let it not fall on rocky ground. Let it fall on good soil. Take heed to the word of God and serve him in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ to serve God. You shall not be held captive no more. No more. No more. Jesus calls you to a life of freedom in him. And I release you to that freedom right now in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching, beloved. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord give you his peace, both now and forevermore. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.